guys, I'm Eileen. If you're new here, I post a video every week about fashion and luxury and I'd love for you to join my YouTube family. So today, I want to talk about the six things that we all do not need in our wardrobe. Now, I truly believe that if you have a clean and curated wardrobe, it's so much easier for you to look for things that you actually love and enjoy. So I love purging and decluttering my wardrobe every few months or so to get rid of things that I don't use anymore. And when I say get rid of your things, I mean either selling them or donating them to charities because a lot of charities now accept almost everything apart from very personal items like undergarments or socks as long as they are in a fairly good condition. So the first items you don't need in your wardrobe are uncomfortable pieces. So this can be clothing that makes you feel itchy, accessories that are too heavy, or shoes that hurt your feet. Whatever it is, if you dread wearing it, it really doesn't deserve a place in your wardrobe. Now I think comfort should really be the key element in everyone's wardrobe because no one should suffer for fashion. Now I don't mean you have to walk around in your loungewear every day because you can absolutely still look fantastic without sacrificing comfort. The second items that you do not need in your wardrobe are poor fitting items. So this can be a pair of jeans that you have to squeeze yourself into or a pair of shoes that are too big or too small that is impossible for you to walk in or just a pair of sunglasses that keep falling off your face. If things are not well fitting, you'll feel very conscious and people around you can tell that you are not being confident. So if there are poor fitting items in your wardrobe that cannot be tailored or you will not tailor, then it's time to free up some space. The next items we don't need in our wardrobe are sentimental pieces. So these are the momento pieces that remind you of a certain person or an event. Now I'm guilty of that as well. For example, I had a top which I was wearing on the day I gave birth to my little boy and I kept that piece for years even though I've not worn it since because it reminded me of that very special day. So earlier this year, I took a few pictures of that piece and I decided to add that to my donation bag. And really, doing that doesn't really take away the experience or the memory of that very special day and I encourage you to do the same. Another example are gifts and presents that we keep simply because they've been gifted to us. Now I'm sure we've all received a scarf or a shirt that we never really wear but we keep them because we appreciate the well-meaning gesture of the giver. So again, I think it's sensible to take a few pictures of these special items and then let someone else put them to good use. The fourth items we don't need in our wardrobe are pieces that we've not worn or used in a long, long time and we keep them because we might need them one day. Now in certain cases, I understand that you will have a good reason to keep pieces that you only wear occasionally. For example, dresses that you wear to a wedding. Now you might keep a few in your wardrobe just in case, especially because they are quite expensive as well. But I'm talking about pieces that you just don't reach for and you might even have forgotten they are there and some of us probably happen to find a few of these pieces when we're tidying up. So really, if you're not even aware that you have a certain item, it's a pretty good sign that you don't need that item. The fifth items that we don't need in our wardrobes are pieces that look like they have gone past their prime time. So these include stained, faded and torn pieces. Now I firmly believe that you don't have to wear very expensive items from head to toe but it's important to look clean and polished and I'm sure you'll agree that wearing a white shirt with a big yellow stain is not a very flattering look. So I try to look after my pieces but if they look like they are beyond repair, I will not hesitate to get rid of them. And just a side note, items that belong to these categories are obviously not in the best condition, so you might not want to donate them. So for me, I try to recycle my very tired looking clothing. I will cut them into pieces and use them as cleaning cloths for the house. The last items you don't need in your wardrobe are pieces that don't fit your personal style. Now I don't know about you, but in the past when I was younger, I would buy things because they look good on other people on social media, but when I put them on, they just look completely out of place. Now really, the right thing to do would be to return them, but I kept them because I really wanted to make it work. 
Now I'm not proud of this, but I used to have pieces with their price tags on even after six months. So really, if I can go back in time, I would tell my younger self that everyone is different and what works for other people might not work for you and it's okay. So if you have pieces that don't make you feel yourself or if you have a hard time styling them, then it's time to declutter. So those are the six things that we don't need in our wardrobe. Now I know some people might think that decluttering is a wasteful habit, but I don't agree with that because in a way I have actually become more mindful when I'm doing my shopping because I'm quite selective with what I buy now. So that in a way has reduced my spending. And really the whole idea is you want to have a closet filled with things that you love and enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one. Have a nice day.